Hello everyone, today we have new video review, but first as usual let me invite you to check another video review with a dirt kit which you can find here on our YouTube channel. And of course don't forget to visit our website here, you will be able to read full review article of this video with detailed photos and text in English and Russian. As for the today's kit, uh, Doart continues its cooperation with Hasegawa, Japanese company, all you know it. And this time we have limited edition 148 scale, which copies famous Italian aircraft. Uh, you can see it on the box art, and it's named as Folgor. So there is plastic from Hasegawa, uh, extras from Edward, and of course decals from Cartograph for several marking options. As you can see, box size is quite typical for limited editions from Edward. Here you can see comparison with my hand size. Uh, here we can see all six marking options which are included into this kit. As I said, they will be supplied with cartograph decals. And on the other side we can see what resin parts will be included. By the way, there will be also separate <coughs> wheel wells upgrade as a breast in set. It's not included here, but it will be possible to buy it as a separate uh, upgrade set for your limited edition kit. So this is a top opening, top opening box and that's what we have inside. Plenty of space inside. As you can see, Hasegawa plastic is packed into its own plastic bag. And note that all sprues are packed into this one plastic bag, so be careful. But I think there won't be any damages because as you can see there is plenty of space inside, so it will be really difficult to damage parts. I mean, postman has to play a football with your box in order to get the damage. And even in this case, I really doubt that there will be some breakages or maybe some other possible issues. Okay, so we removed the plastic screws. We didn't check this kit before, so it is interesting to see what's inside. Um, first plastic sprue is here. Uh, we have lower wing half. Note that either ones and flaps are molded in. Uh, also here we have some parts for the wheel wells. For the landing gear, molding quality is really nice, I mean it's typical for Hasegawa, as you can see inside there are some position pins and I don't see any possible problems with molding, I mean there is no flash, no other uh, typical issues. Here we have two small sprues, these ones are dedicated to propeller blades and landing gear wheels. Note that main wheels will be replaced with resin parts, so no worries, you won't have to use these terrible parts. <laughs> Next, we have frame with top wing halves. Note that attachment points are on the sides and also on the front edge. Here we have pilot seat, dashboard, some parts for the cockpit. And I want to zoom a camera on the dashboard. Of course it will be replaced or maybe improved with PE parts from Edward. But as you can see, even out of the box it's quite nice. And here you can see cockpit floor. Also quite a simple, I would say, part. But again it will be upgraded, I hope it will be upgraded with resin parts and PE parts. Actually only PE parts. Here we have propeller cone, uh, propeller base for the separately molded blades and some minor elements for the external detailing. Note that here, tail segment landing gear uh, leg, it won't be used because there are uh, two resin options included into this kit. Next we have last grey plastic sprue. This one is dedicated to fuselage halves as you can see. And both are molded together with tail segment and with rudder. This front cooling section. Of course exhausts are molded separately. Note that wing roots are molded like this. Uh, then we have inside there are minor position pins which should help with alignment and as you saw cockpit walls are molded separately so you will have to insert them here. Next we have top cooling part which is molded like this and also several versions of the tail planes which are molded as a one piece part together with elevators. Transparent sprue is packed into the separate plastic bag. Just give me a second to open it. At least you don't have to worry that it won't be it will be scratched. And you also don't have to worry uh, about masking because masks are included into this kit. These are typical Edward products, so um, it should be easy to mask 
all those transparent segments. As you can see, molding quality is also quite nice. It's typical for Scassi Gala. So nothing bad here. Next we have the plug back with resin parts. Those are of course included into brassine line. And those should improve detailing of your Italian uh, aircraft. So here we have air intakes as far as I know. Next we have main landing gear wheels and also tail struts which are molded together with wheels. I will zoom a camera so that you can check them closer. Here you can see them. Uh, no worries about this flash around the parts. I mean it's not serious and it will be easy to separate it off the part. Wheels have nice detailing. They have writings on the walls so they are noticeably, sorry, noticeably better than original plastic alternative. Then we have assembly manual. This one is also typical for Edward. As you can see we have here a short history note. Then here is a parts map. Then assembly process starts. Note how many parts, uh, PE parts, you will have to use in order to detail your cockpit. Uh, in total you will have to perform all those steps. Then we have here masks for the wheels and for the canopy. Actually it's like a masking guide. Then we have marking guide. Of course it's printed in color and paint numbers are given in Gunze designations. And then we have advertisement of the new G5 versions now BF109 from Edward. Of course it's molded in 148 scale as well. Uh, as you saw masks are included into this kit. Here is a plastic bag with masks. Those are typical yellow stickers so nothing special in a good sense I would say. Then we have this plastic bag with cardboard and two PE threads inside so just give me a second to open them. As you saw one is pre-painted and of course it will be used for the cockpit detailing but there is also special film for the target inside which should be used in your model. So here is a pre-painted PE thread and here is a transparent film. And now I want to take out the typical golden PE thread which carries parts for the internal and external detail and here you can see it. As you can see it's noticeably bigger than the pre-painted PE thread but it will be as useful as pre-painted one. And then we have the last component in this kit. It's a small plastic bag with decal sheet. Just give me a second to open it. Okay, so here we are. As I said, it is printed in cartograph. As you can see, printing quality is very nice. I can even zoom the camera so that you can check them closer. As you can see, very nice quality. There are even some decals for the cockpit if you don't want to use PE parts. And all symbols look just fine. So that's all for this video review. I hope you enjoyed it. As you can see we have another nice limited edition from Edward. It is available on their online shop. But as usual I will be happy to hear your opinion in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can get all those video reviews on time. And of course share it with your friends so that they know about this nice limited edition from Edward. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video as usual. Bye.